Today, we finally get an answer to one of the biggest questions in all of football, man. Who has the best depth? We have gone through the depth chart of every single NFL team, and not only have we promoted the second stringer at every position to be in the starter, but now the starter is not even going to be second string. They're going to be third, fourth, fifth string and not even getting playing time. So now you have guys like Mark Andrews, third string. Teams like the Eagles, who have a lot of depth on the D-line, might excel. Or how about a team like the Saints, who has an 83 overall backup safety in CGJ. Teams that were blessed to have a great backup at certain positions are going to benefit the most like the Browns with Kareem. And there are even some teams who now have a Super Bowl MVP starting for them at quarterback. So without further ado, man, we can do a quick scroll through at some of the positions, man. If you are new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Road to 400k and please like this video, man. We had to go through every single roster to make sure the backups were starting. We made sure to do it on offense and defense every team's best player is no longer gonna be playing but not just their best player but their best players plural we also made sure to get the third down running back power halfback all these extra positions we made sure the best players were not there as well so we are going to find out who has the best depth in the league let's get right into it kareem hunt drags the browns to the first seed in the afc the steelers with kenny pickett dolphins with Teddy B. The Chiefs make the Texans. The Jets with January Joe Flacco. The Bills also squeak in and that's it. There's a few teams that were above 500 that didn't make it. You gotta feel for them. The Red Rifle. Andy Dalton takes the Saints to the first seed in the NFC. Then you have the Niners with Jimmy G. Remember, he's now the backup. We use the ESPN depth chart. So if you have any issues with who's the backups and the starting, take it up with them. Anywho, the Packers with Jordan Love. The Eagles with Gardner Minshew. Vikings. The Commanders. And then the Panthers with Sam Darnold. Make the playoffs, man. The Bucks obviously without Brady. That was going to be tough to overcome. The Rams never do good in these simulations. The Cowboys, 6-11. Blaine Gabbert leads the league in passing chad henney ends up second man jacoby Brissett, garden Minshew, jordan love end up in the top five here's some of the other guys that are in there you got some young guys some rookies jacoby 47 touchdowns by far the most no one else even had 40 that's insane you love to see it though i'm happy for him he might even get that chance in real life depending on what happens with watson they're, they're saying it could be a two to eight game suspension and if that is the case then jacoby would be stepping up and uh filling in quite nicely taylor heineke threw the most interceptions gabber keenan allen cooper rush and then tie rod on the giants 18 to 18 wow i thought he would do way better than that but of course he was dealing with backups no surprises here kareem hunt wins the rushing title 1900 yards melvin gordon was second yeah the broncos have a nice one too the saints also a nice one too madison on the best handcuffs in the nfl if you play fantasy you know that aj Dillon, another great handcuff so you have teams that have good running back rooms in the top five no surprises there trey sermon kyle shanahan's is really good at running backs he, he finds a way to get going same with the seahawks and Pete Carroll. i feel like they have a nice running back room same with the ravens another great uh rushing offense michael carter in there okay chuba all right you love to see ramondre has a nice one too in new england same with the dolphins damian williams the backup in atlanta okay so it's nice to see some unfamiliar names 24 touchdowns for mark ingram kareem hunt with 15 melv gordon 15 ronald jones and then jeff wilson look at that the niners have two guys sky Moore leads everyone in receiving yards 1419 Zacchaeus, Chris Conley, Anthony Schwartz, and then Tyler Johnson. Round out of top five, scrolling down to see some other guys in the yards category. And then the top five for reception, Scotty Miller, Randall Cobb, Tyler Johnson, Sky Moore, and Anthony Schwartz. Wow. So a lot of these guys are, I would say, slot guys. Look at these tight ends. Blake Bell, Tyler Conklin, Jack Stoll filling in for uh, my man's uh, Dallas Goddard. Look at Greg Ward. Randall Cobb had the most receiving touchdowns, though. Jakeem Grant right behind him. Chris Conley, Anthony Ferkser, Harmon. Okay, so a lot of names you don't really see. I like this. Guys stepping up. Look at Jalen Rieger. I hope he has this type of year, man. I need him to bounce back. He's been through a lot. So we, we don't do any more Rieger slander because he's been through a lot okay anywho Kenny Young leads the entire league in tackling guys you just don't really hear about Lorenzo Carter Vern Butler Tano went to high school I don't care I'm saying it every time I see this man pop up he was top 
five in the league in tags for loss. You love to see it. Greenard led the league with 11 and a half sacks. Very low sack numbers. Speaking of sacks, I'm going to drop a video reacting to, you know, the top 10 edge rushers in Mad 23 on the second channel. Link in the description. Subscribe if you haven't already. Now, as for interceptions, Nate Hobbs won that award. And then you had a ton of guys with six. Jesus Christ. Henderson stepping in there. I, uh, wait, it, it says he's not a starter for Panthers. So that's why he ended up, uh, you know, getting a lot of playing time. PJ Williams can't cross. Okay. Mark Ingram wins the MVP. 24 rushing touchdowns. I'm not too surprised, man. That was Jacoby's chance, though. He was right there for MVP. Look at Tyler Huntley. This is what I would expect. If he played a full season, I think he could do really well in that system. Look at Gardner up there. Kareem, Teddy B, Melvin Gordon, Jordan Love, Blaine Gabbard, and then Chad Henney. OPOY goes to Jacoby. At least he won that. The Browns are going to be a scary out. You have two guys in the top two for OPOY on their team. DPOY went to Nate Hobbs on the Raiders. It went to Eric Wilson on the Saints. And then Mark Ingram on the Saints. So they're going to be another tough out. They're going to be playing against the Panthers in the divisional after they took care of the Niners. The Packers beat the Commanders. And the Eagles lose to the Vikings. The Vikings get revenge. On the AFC side, you have the Bills beating the Dolphins. The Chiefs beat the Jets. And then the Texans demolish the Steelers. But their run stops in the divisional round. They lose to the Chiefs 31-10. The Bills beat the Browns in a thriller. 38-35. Jacoby was unbelievable. Four touchdowns, no picks. But Case Keenum did his thing i mean that, hey man same with james cook bills drafted him and i think the second round if i'm not mistaken him zach moss i mean they have a nice running back room in buffalo kareem of course did all he could it just was not enough jakeem grant had himself a game they were spreading the ball around quite nicely on the nfc side of things the vikings beat division rival green bay and then the panthers lose to the saints the red rifle andy dalton has taken the saints all the way to the super bowl and i'm happy for him he had some good teams some some decent talent in Cincinnati but it just never quite came together at the right time but look at this Mark Ingram the MVP doing what he's supposed to do Madison also great season but man that dude and then Taysom Hill the Saints have a lot of great depth you're seeing it right here I mean you can't get to the Super Bowl in this experiment if you don't have great depth it, they just proved it right here the Chiefs proved it as well 34 to 28 they beat the Bills even without Mahomes they're headed back to the Super Bowl I mean Andy Reid is just different five touchdowns for Chad Henney could Mahomes be assisted quarterback no i'm just kidding but man it makes you wonder how good andy reed in this playbook is to get them all the way to the super bowl you have josh gordon sky Moore. like these are guys that could come in and contribute it's, it's kind of crazy it's insane that they were able to just keep on chugging like a well-oiled machine even without their starters, without Kelsey, without Mahomes, they're back and competing for the Lombardi. The Saints and Andy Dalton are looking to add to their lead, already more than doubled the score of Kansas City. Now they just hand the ball off to the MVP, get a little closer to try to attempt this field goal. Man has two touchdowns, and look at this team. The, the balls on this team. Sean Payton versus Andy Reid. This is a coach versus coach elite matchup, and Andy Reid wins on that play, but there's still a big deficit for Chad Henney to overcome. Down three possessions they need to make a play and need to make it fast man fourth quarter is already here the saints send for henny finding a wide open guy to get the first down yeah when you have guys like tano who's like six foot six breathing down your neck even though you, you don't have to worry about Cameron jordan you still have a lot of guys that can get to the quarterback but the chiefs have some playmakers pretty sure that was sky Moore, if i'm not mistaken man could he come in and be like a watered down version of tyreek i think that's why they drafted him they, they saw they were losing tyreek they're like oh, well hey man i, I we need to fill that void. First on a season in takeaways is the Saints, man. Their defense is scary. They have so much depth. I know I've said it before, but I keep saying it. Uh, well, the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the gameplay right here. I mean, look at this. That might be the dagger, man. PJ Williams with the INT. The Saints. Are the winners of this experiment, man. The Red Rifle gets a ring. Mark Ingram gets himself a ring. And yeah, there you have it, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We finally answered the question, who has the most depth in the league is saints okay and uh yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy it please subscribe if you're new see you on the next one